Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about tension versus compression. Difference between tension and compression. Tension and compression are the two principal forces involved in any structure slash building. Each material can handle a certain amount of tension as well as compression. Some material possesses the excellent ability to bear compression, and some material can handle the tension easily. Some materials can withstand both tension and compression effectively. For instance, if you pull a rope, it can handle a significant amount of tension, and if you push, it can resist compression significantly, only bend. What is tension? A force that pulls the material apart refers to the tension force, and it tries to stretch a mat aerial. When we fasten an object from a rope, the object's weight pulls on the rope and tries to elongate the cord. This force is termed the tension force. This contact forces different names based on these types of objects in contact. Where one of the objects exerting the force happens to be a rope, string, chain, or cable we call the force tensions. What is the tension force equal to? This system has a constant velocity and there is an equilibrium because the tension in the cable, which is pulling up the object, is equal to the weight force, i.e., mg, where m is a mass, and g is the acceleration caused by gravity, which is pulling down the object. The Formula of Tension T equals M times G M equals mass slash weight in kilogram. G equals gravitational force. Example of tension force. Where you pull on an object with a rope, the rope will stretch slightly. This stretch in the cable can cause the cable to be taut which allows the cable to transfer a force from one side of the cable to the other, roughly similar to how a stretched spring will pull on objects connected to it. This stretch of the cable is usually too small to notice, therefore we typically ignore the small stretch that occurs in cables, ropes, and wires. However, if the forces involved are also great, the large amount of stretch may cause the rope to break. So it is advisable to check the tension limit for any cable or ropes you plan on using. What is compression? The compression force is the force generated from compressing an object or substance. When shearing forces are aligned into each other, they are called compression forces. The compression force is used to power everything from compression brakes to hand tools. The compressive strength of materials and structures is an important engineering consideration. The compression force can be visualized by placing an object on a spring. When the spring is compressed and then released, the object is ejected into the air. This is a result of the compression force that is generated from compressing the spring. What is the compression force equal to? 
The compression force is usually captured in Newton, N, defined as a unit of force that gives to a mass of 1 kg an acceleration of 1 m per second squared, ms2, commonly represented as A. The formula of compression N equals ma M equals mass slash weight KGA equals area. Note Compression force examples Above figure shows another common visual example of compression force the act of pressing two ends of a spring together. As compression force is applied to the spring, the spring's physical shape becomes compacted. When the compression is released, the spring immediately expands outward and back to its normal shape. Why test for compression force? From a design engineer's perspective, there is a lot to be obtained out of quantifying how a device, product, or structure responds to compressive forces. Compression force testing may yield important information in a variety of facets 1. Material Selection In the case of material selection for product design, a compression force test may be used to help design engineers zero in on the material optimized to withstand compressive environments. 2. Competitive Benchmarking This compression force tests may help design engineers improve the features of their product designs by capitalizing on competitor shortcomings. 3. Meeting internal or third-party certification standards Compression force tests may be integrated into certification processes like ISO, ASTM, and others. Bending stress When material bends, it experiences both tension and compression simultaneously. For example let us consider a beam dot when the load is applied on a beam, its bottom part experiences tension, and its top part experience compression. While a layer called the neutral axis runs along the middle of the beam, surprisingly, it experiences zero stresses during bending. Both forces tension and compression are essential to keep in mind while designing a structure. If we built a structure with a material that can't handle tension and compression forces due to dead and live load, then the structure may collapse. Hence all the structures must be designed to handle the forces act upon them. Tension and compression forces are existing in all the structure. An engineer must design a structure able to withstand these forces without buckling and snapping. Buckling happens when compressive force overcomes the material's strength to handle compression, and snapping occurs when tension force overcomes the material's capacity to take tension. The most excellent way to manage these forces is to either transfer them or dissipate them. For transferring the force, move it from an area of vulnerability to a place of strength the space designed to handle the force. To dissipate the force, scattered it out over a large area so that no one place has to undergo the concentrated force's impact. An arch bridge is an excellent example of dissipation, and a suspension bridge is a perfect example of the transfer. 
Difference between tension and compression. S. No. Tension. Compression. 1. Tension force tries to elongate the material. In contrast, compression attempts to shorten the body. 2. It pulls materials apart. It squeezes material together. 3. In tension, all forces are pulling away from the object. In compression, the forces acting on the material push towards the body. 4. Tension may be linked to pulling on the ends of the material. Compression may be correlated with pushing at the edges of the body toward the center. 5. Generally, tension applies to strings. It can be applied to any material. 6. The movement of the force in tension is outward from the body. In compression, the movement of the force acting on the body is always inward to the body. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.